that wrapped around a tree there. And all we can do is just tail them. Brown snake eagle, I guess. Not sitting upright as they normally do, it's leaning forward a little bit. But let's go and see where these cats are going to go. The big boy is somewhere behind us, he'll... He'll make his way here, no doubt, at some point. But yeah, look at this. They are actually going... Where I drove off-road earlier to look at... This morning to look for Karula. They're actually heading straight down that little track. They're smelling something that I don't know what it is. They only know, they're the ones that know. And I'm hoping that we can get to a point where we'll be able to leave them, come back around here, because they're making a w their way towards Black, um, Mumba, Mumba Road. Sun, maybe these two. And we head. Mother and son, maybe these two. this little gap. Mm. I don't know, there's a lot of long grass here that normally grows where there's a big tree stump, so that might be a big tree stump. Yeah. I think they were counting on some water being here in this little pan maybe, because They've come out here and they've now stopped. Hello, children. Hello, pretty girls and boys. Hello, grooming is called when an animal grooms another animal, or when there's mutual grooming, it's called allo grooming. And yes, the bonds of the pride are strengthened with the grooming, except this female is getting troubled by three others, and she's starting to raise her lips in a little bit of a snarl, just letting them know that she's not happy being crowded like this, probably in the heat. Two cubs that are just under a chin, and this other one that's also vying for a bit of attention, older cub. And a very important aspect of allo grooming is reaching the points of the neck and the back of the head that a lion can't reach on its own. And often you'll find a lioness that lives on its own, that might have cubs on its own, actually is in far worse condition than some of these cats that, that live within a pride. Oh, she's big. Gosh, she's a big girl. She's very lean, of course. They haven't been eating for a little while. But I imagine that they are thirsty, and I would imagine that this was a little pan. They know that there was water here. It has dried up. There are plenty other water points for them, so they'll make their way to the next one. The question is, is it going to be the ones down here on Mumba Road? Or will it be the Gwari Pan up there? Gwari
weekend on Drakensberg Drive. begging for food. They trouble their mothers until the mums get up and go off and they'll not necessarily head out on a hunt from here but they'll head out, they'll start walking, trying to get away from an area where they spend most of the day and then maybe go into hunt mode if they come across something, if something presents itself. find another water source. We're going to head back to the road. We're going to need to follow. As we turn around, we're not disturbing them too much. Yeah, some of the females on the move already. One by one they're getting up and starting to follow. So let's we'll wait. The cubs are starting to go. We'll wait for this big girl at the back. We don't want to really get between them. So we'll wait for her to get up and follow. I'm not too worried about the big male that just lags behind. He's on his he's got his own agenda either following them or finding the rest of his his brotherhood. How many? There's a question for you folks. How many of the Matimbas are left? Only two? I don't know. I'm still catching up. I've been lazy because I should have read some of the literature that was left for me. Come, madam. Off you go. There we go. Follow the leader. And there's the big male coming through now. Maybe she was waiting for him. We might have to wait for him. I don't, normally I don't mind being behind the females in front of the male because he's just going to tag along at his own pace. But he is now, he has not caught up with them. It could be that they were actually waiting for him. And you, little boy. Come on. on Mumba Road now, they're heading up towards Drakensberg Drive again, and then maybe they go back up to Cheetah Cut Line. 
Yeah, they're gonna, you're gonna get lost, little boy. Family's gone. <laughs> Doesn't take long. Doesn't take long at all. Oh, look at that lovely stretch. This is also one of, I, I know, you know, all of you know how I am with elephants, but this is one of my other favorite things to do in the bush, follow a pride of lion when they're on the move. And we're very lucky because they're on the move a lot earlier than, than normal, probably because this cloud has come in and there's a bit of a breeze. I don't know where the little boy is, he's walking parallel, but much further ahead is the, the rest of the pride. Oh, there's the little boy, off to our left. Okay, I'm not, I'm not crowding you, dude. I'm just trying to go as slow as possible. God, if looks good, kill. Okay. spray how to set a budget and stick to it how can you ensure this old boy They are now going to start smelling Karula because she was marking her territory around, around here too. Oh gosh, she's a magnificent lion. Yeah, so wishful thinking that we're going to stay with them because now they're cutting through. And I can only hope that they're going to come through onto Drakensburg Drive again further up the road. It was a doker. I mean, it, it, it's like, for us, it's probably the equivalent of each of us having a, a chicken wing. Amazing that the one cub has actually got kind of big chunk of leg there and nothing's taking it away. But the death call, I'm glad we weren't here. That's something we don't really want to hear very loud on through the microphone. And I suppose it wouldn't have been really great to have seen it because with so many lions, with such a small animal, it, 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 it would have been, well, it would have been very quick, but it wouldn't have been very pleasant. And at least we're getting to see a little bit of interaction in terms of how that, that, that hello grooming and that, that tenderness that they showed five minutes ago has now gone out the window and they are fighting for scraps. I don't know where the big boy is. 
but that was a matter of seconds that a Deka was reduced to a state on the grass. I'm going to have to talk on the radio because I've got to keep the goodwill going. Anyone's interested in Gala Mobile North now, it's just west of Drakensburg Drive. They've crossed. Heading north, they've crossed Mamba. They've just bumbled a Munti off of the open area on Drakensburg. Um, on my own. and dung beetles coming in in the hundreds, thousands. That's the stomach contents, no doubt, that's attracting a lot of the insects. Combination of flies and dung beetles and others. get these sounds. Are you getting some of the sound? insects around the stomach contents of this poor child that was just oh, I'm going to get some these scarabs hitting my head Do you know that open clearing on Drakensburg just north of Mumba Road? Yeah, I'll just wait there, you'll get me. Alex, come in. Alex, come in. All good there, Clark? Lion Mayhem. Come 
couple of them already moving off. They've already accepted that there's nothing left. They are good. They get a little bit of moisture from the blood, but I suppose the saltiness of it, they're going to need to drink. So they are on the move again. They might go all the way to Bifuzuk Dam. An incredible number of insects that are buzzing around where it's behind this boy where the look at that in front of that cub. Look at that sw swarming with I'd say most of those are probably scarab beetles and or dung beetles and some flies. got a leg <laughs> protecting it with all, it all it can in fact it'll probably end up running along behind the pride with that leg in its mouth because the females have all moved on blessing and I, I was up front with them and we heard the Munti calling and I went back there and by the I mean in five seconds there was nothing left of it. it was just the little ones that are chewing on leg bones but it was so you know Munti but <laughs> they're hungry yeah. Very how can it take long um, 